Flames TV, take a look at this new, uh, look at that segment, hey? Now that's well done, classy. Well done. <laughs> Ask Stage on the uh, Flames Post Game Live uh, uh, show brought to you by Ram Truck. I forgot my words there, but uh, Ask Stage is the new segment. So we threw it out there on the old uh, Twitter uh, today and we came up with, there was a number of good questions. We can only pick a handful of them. So um, here's a couple. We'll, we'll, we'll bounce them off as we throw them up here. But here's at uh, Kachuk U underscore. The Twitter handles are hilarious, but um, funniest <laughs> Monahan story. You got oh. any Monty stories? Mon Monty's he's a funny guy. The Twitter account might yeah. have been the funniest. Yeah, well, we still don't know who we runs We still that. don't. It's still I, a mystery. I honestly, yeah, we, we never figured that out. Um, but Monty's like, uh, he's quiet, but he's he's really funny. Like, once you get to know him, he does little things. He knows how to, you know, poke at guys and, and his sarcasm. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think of a story. His I guess as a young guy, he was just, um, he would play cards with us on the plane and just out of the blue, he would just do funny things. But I, I, I kind of stumped for a story. Yeah, like, um, a, let me get, let me, we I can don't know. circle back to yeah. it. If something hits you. <laughs> Mon, yeah, Monty's, uh, it's, he, it's more the, it's more the dry person. It's more the dry he's sense of humor. He's a very dry, dry yeah. sense of humor. And he comes off dry in the media and, and yeah. when he's on camera. But when you're just having, you know, his buddies, he's, uh, He's one of the funnier guys. Is that right? There yeah. you go. So, oh, yeah, what, what else we got here, fellas? We got hashtag Ask Stage. By the way, you can send us questions, and we'll get to them. We'll throw over the course of uh, our post-game shows, maybe our intermissions. Here's from uh, Jay Buke, 320 or something. What did you like most about living in Munich? Did you like Oktoberfest? <laughs> of course. <Yeah. laughs> Short it's answer a, there. That's it's a, a bucket list for, for a lot of people. Absolutely. It's uh, non-COVID times, of course. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, just – Living that living in Munich and and you know living in a different uh, country city, um, just the way that they go about life. Um, it's such an experience for my family. Uh, one thing I, I loved about it was just the in-game. Um, you know, we went. I went to Bayern Munich game there, and, and the fans are, are crazy soccer fans. But even the hockey games, like it was incredible. Just the you know, the fan support. You'd have a, uh, a supporter section, and and then the away team would just have one corner. Uh, sectioned off and, and there'd be chance going the whole game if you're on the power play they're cheering the whole time if you're on the road and you're on the power play and I did play power play in Germany believe it or not <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, I believe it. but if you're on the road and you're on the power play they're whistling the whole time like right. booing so it's like they do do these things that that you kind of do distract you but you're sitting on the bench at times and you're just like this is in awesome almost, and every yeah. player should experience this so uh but just the whole experience you know for my family myself was unbelievable and i um, glad we did it and uh if we didn't have two kids that were so young we probably would have maybe did a few more years but um yeah. you know i think it was time and um you know i thank my wife for for letting us go there with with two young ones because that wasn't easy uh that part of it sure yeah great experience uh, oktoberfest light, lights out it's it's stampede but uh a little different it's, it's, it's <laughs> a little bit with the yeah outfits you got the outfits, outfits. yeah I, I don't know but it's if i had to compare it to something yeah it's stampede Big but party. um the parties are, are a lot different you're at yeah. tables and it's crazy just google it <laughs> just Google it. Google images. Or YouTube it. You, <laughs> or see it for yourself, as you said. I don't see you travel again. All right, Michelangelo Sti. Uh, 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 yeah, this one had a little bit more to it. But what do you think of Anderson on the power on power play one? But it also had kind of a thought about uh, him shooting a little bit more to uh, maybe he, this this person, Michelangelo Osti, um, thought maybe uh, he was open a few more times for to get some shots off. Well, on the power play, there's always going to be one player open. You have an extra guy, um, you know. So the thing about the Flames' first unit is is every guy's a threat. You have Monahan in, in the middle there, who's a huge threat. Um, so he, you know the, the defenders are trying to share that that duty of covering mm -hmm. him. And then you have John, who's been shooting a lot more this year, and Lindholm on the on the flanks, who obviously work well together. And we've seen a few of them set up a few goals. And then you got Chucky in front of the net. So Anderson's the guy at the top, and and. He's a shooter when, when he needs to be, um, but he's also, you know, he's the only D-man on, so, you know, he's not he, he's not the guy that has to force shots through. So if the shot's there, yeah, he's got to take it, and he's a right-handed shot, which is a different look than having Gio up there, but they can. We have seen Gio go out there for a few shifts, um, but he's not a guy that you want forcing shots. Um, so in his head, he's probably, you know, maybe at times, um, you know, dishing it back, making sure that they get the right play uh, set up because, uh, you know, but he's a smart player. I, I don't think uh, – I don't think, you know, we can critique anything he's done. That power play unit's been so dangerous. They won him the game tonight. Um, and uh, and the shot's there. He's going to take it. He's he's a smart player. Yeah, 
know, it'll kind of comes in cycles too, right? I mean, sometimes you're going to use different parts of the power play to take advantage of the opposition. Exactly. And I think, I think the reason he's probably saying, you know, um, Andy's to, more open up yeah. top is because Johnny's been shooting more this year. So, so they gotta, when teams would kind of, you know, take away everything else, kind of force Johnny to shoot because, you know, sometimes he overpassed, but now he's shooting and, and I know the team's been on him a lot right. about that over the years. So now teams they have to, honor it. they got to honor it. So someone's going to be a little bit more open. And, um, and when Johnny and, and Lindholm can hit those scene passes, um, you know, that's, that's almost a goal every other time, uh, with Chucky in front and, yeah. and, and then you got Monahan who has one of the best guys in the bumper spot, I think in the league. Almost automatic when he gets it there. Yeah. Um, okay. One, one last one. This one's less of a question. I mean, we kind of threw it out there for comments, chirps and whatever it might be, but, uh, that Calgary, <laughs> Florida won your hair. Is I'm not sure if that's in reference to me or you, but. Um, well, thank you. I think it's me. I think it's you. Yeah. Well, it's you got a haircut, me. though. Look at that haircut. Yeah, I did get a haircut, so maybe <laughs> but, but, it is me. I don't know. One, one thing is, so we just saw Lindholm and Bax at the, yeah. whatever you want, at the podium. Yeah. Guys with, like, I, I'd die for that hair. I know. And those, they too. wear hats. I know. Like, it's, you don't wear a hat if you have luscious hair like that. I know. Just slick it back. <laughs> yeah, that's right.